I have switched on. Turn off the actions in my button. Produce electrical energy. This electrical energy flows through the bulb and makes it glow. The flow of electricity along the path is called an electric current. Sources of electricity. Electricity is a, day, is a discovery that totally changed our daily lives. Lives span refrigerators, TVs, mobile phones, computers, and many other machines that make our lives easier to run on electricity. So imagine life without electricity. Without electricity, from a variety of sources, electricity can be produced by burning coal and from wind, moving water, summer, and other sources. With electricity, from main sources, to run household appliances and industrial machines, powder, or small portable items such as torches, we use electric cells. The electric cell. The electric cell is a central source of electricity. It produces electricity from reactions between chemicals. It is invented by an Italian scientist, Alessandro Volta, in the year 1800. The dry cell. The electric cells that we use in torches and pipes are semi solid in the dry chemicals and are called dry cells. A dry cell is a cylindrical, a cylindrical in shape. It has a metal tank that is raised at one end and a metal base with a roof or a depression at the other end, examining the cross-section of the cell. Every cell has two ends called terminal. The container is made of a metal base and is an of terminal. A metal tank is fitted on top. It is marked with a positive. Inside the cell, the metal tank is connected to a carbon rod, which forms a positive terminal of the cell. A moist piece of chemicals fills the space between the carbon rod and the dense container. This kind of electric cell is called a primary cell. It has to be replaced after all the chemicals inside it are used up. In a terminal subtracted with one, a chemical reaction produces an electric carbon. So, in an electric cell, chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. The amount of electricity produced by a single cell is not very high. To get more electricity, many cells are connected to end to end. A collection of cells is called a battery. In a battery, the positive terminal of one cell is connected to a negative terminal of the next cell. Other types of cells. Have you seen a car battery? It's not a secondary cell or a storage cell, and may be charged again and again. There is an advantage over a dry cell, which cannot be recharged. The chargeable cells are also used to provide the current and electronic gadgets like cameras, mobile phones, laptops, and calculators. Storage cells are a type of chargeable cells. They get recharged in the presence of light. The electric bulb. An electric bulb uses electric current to provide light. It has a thin, tall wire of filament, which is made of a metal tungsten. The ends of the filament are attached to two thick wires that are plugged inside the bulb. One the thick wire is sent to the base of the bulb, and the other is connected to the metal piece around the base. Thus, the base and the metal piece around it form the two terminals of the bulb.